Okay, guys and gals, we are back. So, this is episode two, Lona Plus, and we are going to talk about getting some money, getting on our feet. We left off just about to start talking about questing, and uh, let's start there. So, this, like I said last time, this will be found, the signboard will be found in every city. Some big cities have more than one, so just have to look around, just bump into it. Now there's multiple job types. So the easy ones are, I want it. It's just a fetch quest. Not even fetch, it's just they want an item and if you have it, just give it to them. Birthday, exact same. So if you just read one of these. Have you seen Athlandla the citizen stump? This is the randomness part, right? Uh, I want it, I want it. Go get it for me by fair means or foul. I'll give you 517 gold pieces and ores. So they give you random stuff. Uh, plus guaranteed amount of money now it says they want this this is who's giving the quest this is how long if you accept it how long do you have to complete it uh, but you don't have to take it from her right they say it's her stump or sometimes it's her sword or you know her something you don't have to take it from her they'll take anything that's called a stump so if you have a stump then they'll take it um, so these are both I want it quest. So this one's a Kuapana. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Kuapana? Kuapana? Um, birthday's the same. They just want something. And if you have it, I usually don't even accept it unless you already have it, right? So uh, they're usually common items. So uh, rods are pretty common. Um, junk items that you find on the ground outside, uh, pretty common. Uh, Kuapana can be found outside, not super common. Harvest time, uh, these, they'll give you a time limit and you have to go and basically pick up big vegetables. And so you don't want to start these until you have a, a farming, a gardening skill. Uh, there is no farming skill. If you have a gardening skill that you start in the rise or you want to start working on it, grab that. Also, you need to be able to carry a lot of weight. That's uh, really important. So we're not ready for these yet because we don't have the weightlifting skill which will allow us to carry more weight and level level it up. Okay, uh, birthday, birthday, these are more, uh, they just want something, sun crystal, rod of, uh, these crystals, earth crystals and sun crystals are very common um, rewards for quests. So later you'll have handfuls of them. Again, a rod. Uh, clean up, these are new ones for Alona Plus, but it seems to be, uh, you have to go somewhere and uh, hunt. I, I'm, I'm assuming you hunt, but it's, I'm not sure why. It's, I'm not sure the difference. So I'm, I will check it out later as I level up. Uh, birthday, another rod. Escort is. These are really hard. You have to basically uh, take somebody into your party, and they suck. They're not going to fight for you. Or they might try to fight, but they will immediately die. And you have to take them somewhere. So in this case, take them to Palmia, another city. For these, you need to be careful of how long you have, because sometimes they want you to go all the way across the world map in like two days, and you really have to hi have a high speed, a high riding skill, and a good, a fast animal that you're riding, uh, lightweight. It, it just it can, be, can be very, very difficult. So keep an eye on the date on those. Um, there's also another quest. Uh, it's not an escort, but a uh, delivery quest, and they'll give you an item, and you need to deliver to another city. That's the other one that you need to keep an eye on the how long. Okay, um, and these two are uh, cooking quests, so they want you to cook them a or, or buy. You can just buy it. Mature animal cheese, and this one is candy cream puff. Uh, if we have a cooking skill, it is not high enough for that, so we're just going to ignore those for quite a while. Um, there's a couple other quest types. Uh, oh, oh, there's the hunting quest. That's the most common. And that's they'll, uh, whenever you accept it, they'll send you to a randomly generated area, um, just like outside here. And um, in fact, we're gonna stick our heads outside just to see if we can get a kuapana plant because they're not super uncommon. Um, but it'll send you, okay, so the hunting quest will send you somewhere almost identical to this. Maybe it is identical. Just randomize where the trees are and stuff. And um, you just have to kill everything. And you can't leave the area. You can leave the area earlier by just walking to the edge, but you'll fail the quest. So you have to kill everything. 
then you can leave the area. Uh, we're not ready for those yet, so we're not going to do that yet. I do not see any Corbanas. There's a lot of other items that can be found just outside, like uh, in the quests. Level up a little bit while I'm doing this. Um, oh, these are just drops from uh, animals dying. I'm just grabbing them. Oh, so this one is called a card, and you can also get another one. Okay, so every um, it's a unique drop from a certain animal. So uh, this one is a hermit crab. So there was a hermit crab here that someone killed it and dropped it. Um, they also drop another one. The name is escaping me now. Something like a it looks like a statue, but I will show you when we get one. They're not uncommon. But later we're gonna build pick up all of these you can because later we're going to build a museum and we stash these in the museum only one of each so don't have like 10 hermit crab cards just one hermit crab card and one hermit crab statue thing and uh and the more variety and rarity of the animals that you get then the hot people will come to the museum and then pay you it's just passive income you don't need to do anything look at one more place I meant to zap them. There we go. Uh, let's see. So, like this broken sword here, that can be a quest reward. Uh, not a quest reward, but a when one of the I want it quests. But there's a lot of these, like uh, bone fragment as well. Can can be one. And um. So uh, if you don't want to pick them all up and be carrying around 40 extra like items so I can't really complete any of those quests right now so what I am going to do well if you look down here I am hungry so there's two options for this um, if I'm on the world map like this you can see time passes much faster so here's a clock here so it's what, three o'clock uh, it says noon but it's in this area here will be noon and if I just move you can see it just pumped up to like what four o'clock and, uh, and now it's dusk so when you're on this map, you move. The time moves a lot faster than this map. So this one, I'm moving up and down, and that clock's not changing at all. So, <clears throat> uh, but when you're in the, um, well, while we're in the city, I will come on, get out of the way. Um, you can eat these bread. These, uh, I think they're called bread sticks. Yeah. So you can just, if you just stand over them, push E, and you can see. E is for eat, so you see all the options you eat, and this one's on the ground, and it's free. You don't lose anything. Uh, you don't need to pay anything, you don't lose karma, you know, you just... I'm gonna stuff myself on these things. You also don't get any bonuses. If you have a fancy meal, like that you buy from the chef here, you see some of them have, like, rank 3. Uh, when you're cooking by yourself, rank 5 here, uh, you can get, like, plus 3 and stuff also, and, um get bonuses to your potential and other things we're not gonna we're not quite there yet just had a random event happen and someone robbed me of just uh, per, it's, it's a small percentage of what I have and I have almost nothing so it's not a big deal so this is the puppy cave uh, before we go in here we should talk about it um, this is a dungeon here's another dungeon this is the main quest dungeon let's not worry about that yet here's a random dungeon random dungeon random dungeon random a lot of these are random dungeons that's our home that's a city obviously but if you just step over one of these uh, dungeons here it'll tell you uh, well let me walk off it and walk back on it it says you see an entrance leading to the puppy cave approximate danger level two so you need to be a little bit above this level to successfully complete the dungeon uh, so I'm level one right I think I'm still level one I'm level three but I'm still not high enough level to complete this. So most of the things in here will be random levels around level two. But the thing is, there's lots of them, right? It's not just one guy that's level two. There's gonna be 30 on every level, maybe 50. So you really need to be careful. Uh, you need to be above that level. And also, when you get to the very lowest level, there's a dungeon boss. So, and a dungeon boss will be a higher level. So if it's like a level eight dungeon, you might be able to clear it all the way to the last level on um, being like level 10 or something, but that boss is going to be higher level. Maybe, I'm not sure how it works, but probably like level 15 or 12, So, and he'll be very, very difficult. So you, you need to be above that level. 
Right now, we're just grinding. We're not gonna complete this dungeon. We're gonna pick up pretty much everything and try to kill pretty much everything. Okay, that's a spell book. This is a mana crystal. Zap this guy a couple times. He had dropped some gold. Uh, also, if you uh, this is a special um, dungeon. There's a few of these random dungeons. If you notice, when I left a second ago and came back, it was totally different. If I die in here and drop something and come back to get it, it won't be there anymore because it will be random every time. Every time you come to this first floor, totally different. Different people, different drops. It's just like a different dungeon. Let's zap that, put it, and grab this helm. What is this? A handful of snow. Might as well grab it. Another spell book. Zap him. Zap that guy. Take his boots. And my uh, my pet uh, little girl there. She uh, grabbed that gold. She will use that when she goes back to town to raise her potentials. furniture item so in your house your house has a rank and the top 10 items you have in your house will raise your rank your house's rank so uh, you need to pick up nice furniture basically and uh, drop it in your house Ooh, I failed again. Okay, let's get that. pick up a scroll uh, we don't know what that scroll is yet just a ragged scroll there's a random adjective they will choose for uh, scrolls, potions, and spell books. Uh, we also picked up some spell books. So I have a scroll of identify that I was given in the tutorial. A ragged scroll, no idea what it does. Bloody spell book, no idea what it does. By the way, if you do figure out what the ragged scroll is, then it won't say ragged scroll. It'll just tell you it's a scroll of curse or something. And uh, But then if you make a new game, oh, so, okay, after you find this ragged scroll that is a scroll of curse, it'll just be called Ragged Scroll. You won't see scroll. You won't see. I'm sorry. It'll just be called Scroll of Curse. You won't see Ragged Scroll anymore. And so you'll know that all these blue Ragged Scrolls are now always going to be Scroll of Curse. But if you start a new game, that Ragged Scroll might be identified, right? So keep that in mind. It's randomized every time you start a new game. So let's browse around a little farther. Okay, let's. Uh, where's my little girl? She's pretty powerful, especially comparing our melee skills. A uh, long sword is also bad. A clear liquid. That's clear is the adjective here, so we don't know what it is yet. Could be good, could be bad. I can drink it and find out, but it's usually not a good idea. Unless it's a long sword, also bad. A lot of bad things here. Uh, you notice my little girl just walked over here somewhere and just disappeared. She stepped on a trap. I think the trap was here. Right around this area, so it just made her teleport. I'll step on it. Where is it? Oh, maybe she has some cursed. She did a. Because if you have cursed items, it can randomly teleport you. So we'll check that out later. What is this? An apple pear. Let's eat it. Because uh, fresh fruits and vegetables do not last long. A few. You walk like two or three tiles on the world map, and it's gone. So I can't really get it back to a city. Notice Burden uh, popped up, and then it then Burden changed color to blue, and then we got Burden and exclamation point. That means I'm very burdened. I, mean, I have a lot of stuff I'm carrying. It slows me way down. Um, after I have the weightlifting skill, which should be my first skill to buy, after I have weightlifting, then you should always be burdened. Not exclamation point or blue burdened, just regular burdened, at least burdened. And that mean, that'll mean you're raising your weightlifting skill, and it will, as it levels, it will raise the amount of stuff you can carry. So that's a very important early skill to get. So I'm already, like, carrying about as much as I can. You don't want to get overweight. Overweight, uh, you'll get injured every few turns you step. And these red books are usually just trash. They're kind of guides for in-game stuff. And um, you don't need to, I mean, if it's your first time playing, go ahead and read them all. The only one that you want to pick up are ones called Book of Rachel. And they'll have, there's four of them, they're numbered. So you have Book of Rachel 1, Book of Rachel 2, all the way to 4. And <clears throat> some of the numbers are common, one of them is very rare, so just pick them up when you can. You just need one of each, it's for a quest. So, not much to talk about it yet, but um, 
if you see a, a book of Rachel, pick it up. Um, this one is a pleasant sleep blanket. It'll help me fall asleep faster. And maybe sleep better. Um, so I don't need to use it. It's just there. Okay, a uh, cup of coffee. I'll grab it. An arrow. A gun. I think it's a laser gun or something. Let's see. Oh, oh. Uh, this is a good silver dreadful laser gun. Okay, we'll grab it. Even though dreadful's a, a bad adjective, we don't want that. Uh, we don't want to equip it. It's probably cursed. Anything in here? Wow, what a great uh... Okay, we're, we're burdened. Oh, we're actually overweight. So we're just a little overweight, so I'm probably safe to walk home. I'm going to keep an eye on my health and head out of here. Um, let's go back to these upstairs. Watching my health. I got full health. Oop, I took three damage because if you look down here, my backpack's squashing me, but I'll be fine. Actually, now I'm down to half health. Uh, I do need to be careful. Um, let me look at what. Let me look at my loot here. I'm gonna shift X for examine. It'll show me everything I'm carrying. Um, these are bad. I'm just gonna sell them. Um, a helm is good. We're gonna keep that. Uh, after I identify it, I'll give it to my little girl there. These are bad. I'm gonna toss them. Uh, ooh, okay. Um, so remember, I said the ones on the left are good for like dodge. The number on the right on armor. The number on the right is like uh, protection value, right? Like a. Um, how much it how much the armor helps you right so heavy armor will have a high number light armor will have a low number so i'm looking for my my character needs to have high on the left the right doesn't matter but it will be low on the right if not negative and opposite for my little girl she's going to be like a tank melee dps kind of character so she wants high on the right low on the left even negative on the left all right so let's give her that so i can unload a little bit i'm going to push i to interact Going towards her, give or take, and give her my what was it? Glove? Oh, uh, heavy boots. Ooh. Nothing else to give her. I do want to give her that helm, but I want to identify it first, so I know what it is. And you can see she automatically put it on. Um, she'll put on what she thinks is best. And if for some reason you don't want her to um, wear something, maybe you have something that's better but maybe the overall stat isn't better but there's some skill or ability or something resistance that it has that makes it better you can like push enter to take something from her and then give her only that item and she'll put that on so she just puts on what she thinks is best um anyway yeah so she automatically put those boots on uh that must be the cursed item although i've got i took it from her so it must not be cursed Not much else I can do. I'm still overweight, so I'm keeping an eye. Oops, I just keep bumping into people here. Um, keep my eye on my health. Yeah, we look good. I'm trying to walk to this general store over here. How much money? Not much. Okay. Um, and make sure I don't die. If I get really close to dying, then you'll hear a heartbeat. You know, you need to be careful. To slow down. Um, shopkeeper. If I try to bump into him, he says he's sleeping. The vendor. Um, if that happens, push B to bash, like kick or something, right? Bash them. It, it's totally fine. He won't, it doesn't affect your karma or anything. Just you can feel free to bash him. Only if he's sleeping. Alright, so I want to sell something. What can I sell? So these creme L's are totally useless. Always sell them. Uh, yes, I want to sell two. Cure minor wound. Err, we'll keep that. I think snow will never be worth more than one GP, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, oh, I should identify some things, right? What's the most heavy thing in my inventory? The weight is here after, so we got 4.58198. Wow, that's a heavy arrow. Okay, let's identify that arrow so I can sell the damn thing. Um, scroll of identify and a bolt, right? That's an easier list to see all the weights. Okay, um, you know, maybe I'll... Metal bolt, 1D. Yeah, it's not even special. Okay, just heavy. I want to sail that. This, it's only 1 GP. That's all right. Everything goes for like 1 GP until you... Later on, uh, later on, you can actually own a shop. It will be on the world map. Uh, you have to buy a deed. And then you can just drop all your junk stuff in there and you 
get a, uh, another person in your party that is a high charisma, drop him or her into the shop and they will be the shopkeeper. The higher their charisma, the more money you get for your stuff and you just drop all your junk off, stop by there every once in a while and uh, collect cash. Make a lot of money that way. Okie dokie, I think that's all and we are still overweight. I'm surprised. Um, Okay, uh, another thing I can do is go to this lady in here. One of them are able... Okay, well, uh, let me finish that and I'll tell you. Uh, okay, yeah, she can identify all my stuff for 1060 Oh, that's all my money. Totally fine. I don't plan on buying anything. Or she can just identify one item for 50 So now everything's identified. Um, let me look first, make sure I don't have... I'm gonna go ship X to examine. This bad breastplate, a glass. Oh, this breastplate is actually pretty good. Uh, it's made of glass, so it's very lightweight. Increases my speed, which is fantastic for a mage. Negates the effect of fear, okay, so it's hard for me to uh, get scared. So, where is my robe? My robe is 3 0, and that's 4 0, so I'm gonna take it. So, let me push W to wear wield. Push enter to remove that, push enter again to put something on, and let's put this on. Oh, it's very heavy though. But I got a speed boost, I'll keep it. I'm gonna sell my cloth, uh, what was it called? Cloth robe or something? Cloth robe. Uh, okay, so let me see what I can give to my little girl. Give or take. And so here I got two things. Both are 2d5. One weighs more than the other, and they they will have different. Uh, let's see. This one makes you a better tactician, um, grants you resistance to lightning, and the other one is acid proof, tactician, and resistance to poison. So I'm gonna give her both. Oh, uh, hand. I put two. That was offhand. I shouldn't have done that. But uh, give her that helm. Give her the claw. Um, she does, she's not going to do ranged. I will give her this bone girl. She's going to get hurt more often than me. And it's more suitable for her because it had a high, uh, higher value on the right. Give her that. Uh, no, that's doomed. I don't need any ranged stuff. Oh, do not give... <laughs> don't give people a an engagement ring unless you do not plan on taking it back. Because if I give her that and then I try to take it back, then like... She'll be very angry at me, and uh, he or she, and then and they'll try to swallow it because the, they're angry, and then it's just gone forever, right? So don't give her an engagement ring unless you plan on her keeping that engagement ring forever, or you don't mind her getting angry at you and swallowing it. Potion of slow. I'm gonna just give. No, don't give. Uh, if you give them scrolls and potions, they'll use them. So if she has something, she's cursed, I can give her an uncursed scroll, and then after a couple turns, she'll use them. Ooh, I got ice bolts. I need to read that. Feather? That's If I get if I cast feather on myself and I'm overweight, then I'm, I will no longer be overweight. So that's a decent thing to have. I don't know if my literacy skill is high enough to read that yet, but I will certainly try. Oh, I'm gonna... Oh, nothing more to give, right? So now I'm going to go to take and see what she actually decided to wield. Okay, she's going to keep her hammer. She prefers the hammer over this stuff. I, I don't know the stats on the hammer, but she does. And I trust her. And if she doesn't want this helm, she wants to keep that one. Great, she upgraded her helm. Um, let's sell stuff. I'm going to sell both of these swords. Yes, I want it only for 2 GP. Pretty crappy, but as my uh, negotiation skill, as, after I acquire the skill and it goes up, then oh, don't sell that. I want to identify it. Uh, so I'll sell that. I'll sell this. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. You always want to sell cursed things or doomed. Um, engagement ring that goes for a decent chunk. Of, not, not really. It's all garbage money. Dirty water is totally useless. Make me sick. Uh, potion is slow. I'm gonna sell because it's not. Um, when you throw it, it's not that good of a chance to actually hit somebody, and it's kind of a waste of a turn. Curse. I'm going to sell minor teleportation because I actually can just cast it myself. I don't need to read the scroll. 
keep all of this. So that pear, I didn't eat it earlier. Chewing gum, sleeping bag, that means I can sleep anywhere, but I'm not going to use that. I'll sleep at home. Cursed part, lock picks, that sucks. Um, I'm going to sell the skins. These are the drops with the anatomy skill. I think my little girl has anatomy skill, so we're getting some, a decent amount of drops. You see these, those went for most, more than most of my other stuff. And you'll get a lot of them as your anatomy increases. Keeping that, keeping that, keeping that. And... Oh, so for hunger, I was talking about that earlier. These traveler's meal, these cargoes of traveler's food, I can't just eat those. But I automatically consume them when I'm on the world map. So I don't need to worry about it on the world map. These guys are both sleeping and blocking the doorway. How do I get by you? I'm going to bash you and wait a few times. There we go. Uh, so there's a person in here that is a trainer. Is it you? Yes. So uh, um, uh, as you complete quests, you get these platinum coins. They're called PPs. And um, you go to skill to uh, trainers. There's a trainer in every town, and they all offer different skills. This one, for 5P, he will offer mining, lock picking, detection, fishing, and traveling. Uh, real quick, mining is pretty obvious. There's random spots that uh, pop up in caves and stuff, and you just uh, go over and push enter, and you get materials for crafting. Lock picking is pretty obvious. Um, detection is for traps. Uh, traps will pop up and hurt you sometimes. Not that important. They just, if you're not on a, almost zero health, it won't bother you. But uh, eventually, pick the skill up. Fishing is the same as mining. You pick up uh, random items by fishing for them. It's, it sounds weird, I know, but you get these little fountains that spawn in uh, caves. And you just use that skill. That's pretty good to pick up. And, you just get this fishing and mining, I think just one more, and uh, you just collect and collect and collect, and later on when you get to mid-game, maybe towards late game, you, uh, you'll have tons of materials, and you just start crafting from there. Traveling is actually a really good early skill. Um, whenever you walk on the world map, like between two cities, when you arrive in the, in the next city, then you just get a, a dump of XP for however long you traveled. So you want to pick that up too, helps a lot with getting XP, but I don't have enough for anything. I am going to check the signboard again. Is there anything you guys want that I have? Rod of teleportation! I have one! So if I push enter on this, um, it'll warp me over there if I push yes. So bam! Now I haven't accepted it yet. In fact, she's sleeping, so I have to bash her. So bash, boom, talk to her. Now I can go about the work, and she wants that, and then I can say I'll take the oh. Now this is a, a tip. Don't ever accept a job unless you have an item in your inventory, okay? So I have it, I'm going to say accept it, then here it is. Otherwise I could go run and get it or something or try to find it and then come back. Uh, it's usually worth it to buy the item too. So if someone's selling one, then you can run to the shop, buy one, come back, then accept a quest and give it to her. And you'll get back more money. Okay, uh, so I completed uh, a quest. Great. So now if I... Uh, uh, she, she just drops it at my feet. So if you look right here, I was standing here. She dropped three things. I'm going to go over there and pick them up. They are a green potion. No idea what that does. 746 gold. And then one more, one platinum. Yay, my first platinum. Can't do anything until I have five, but on my way. Uh, what else did you guys have? A sun crystal. I think I picked up a mana crystal. Another rod of teleportation, and they gave more money. Sad. Maybe I can buy one from the shopkeeper. Do you have a rod of teleportation? Actually, there's a magic vendor down here. Oh, you don't sell rods. Sad. Um. Okay. She's a healer. We don't, we don't need that. Oh, so this healer can uncurse all your stuff as well. So if you have some cursed things, or you're, when you start to have a party of three or four people, if you choose to have a party, then, uh, yeah, they, uh, she can uncurse everybody. Uh, also, for parties, I don't know if I said this, for every five charisma, you can have one party member. And I have 17 now. I think I have two items giving me plus five charisma, so I really have, like, seven charisma. But I have some buffs, you know. Uh, so I could pick up a couple extra party members. I can go.
go to a slave trader or I can find random, uh, there's a slave trader in the, there's a, um, like a thief city with no guards and everything, so uh, you can go there if your karma gets really low, and if your karma gets low and I come in this city, these guards will attack me, and they're very strong. So, uh, I can go to the thieves' den, uh, the thieves' city, the name is escaping me, but, um, and the guard, there's no guards, they won't attack me. In fact, they'll let me join their thieves' den. Um, what was I just about to say? Oh, draw a blank again. Yeah. Um, so let's see. I think we're gonna go. Yeah, we're only burdened now. So wet and wetting. Uh, wet means that obviously I'm wet in the rain. Wetting means I'm getting things wet. So uh, because I'm wet, right? So if someone threw a potion on me, I might be wetting. Or it could be a mutant thing. Oh, here's a random event. I smell food, so now I'm hungry. So I went from no hunger at all to starving. Now I have car uh, cargoes of traveler's food. So if I'm starving and just move a couple times, there you go. Then I'll automatically eat. You finished eating a cargo of traveler's food. You also drank the beverage that came with the food. And eh, so-so. Yeah, it's not good food, but it'll keep you alive. And it's cheap. Let's go back. So this is the early game. We just grind the pu puppy cave, try to pick up items. I should have read those other uh, spell books. Where do you think you're going? Okay, uh, pick up lots of items. What is that? Shuriken. It's a throwing item. Boring scroll. Kill. Oh, so uh, I mentioned the museum. Um, how we had this card that we picked up. This card here, the card of hermit crab. I can just use that. Um, so I told you there's a. There's a better thing you can get. You can get cards, and these are figurines. That's what the word was. I was thinking statue. Um, so you want to have figurines are better than cards, but pick them all up. Towel, let's take that. A bomb fish. A dead fish, never mind. Not everybody is a bad guy. I don't think she's bad. Right. If I try to bump them, they just get out of your way. So I can attack them, but there's no reason to. A scarecrow, I can put that in my farm whenever I buy one for gardening. A girdle. I'm not actually going to pick that up. They're pretty useless. There we go. Uh, what is that? Dungeon guide. We don't need that. Glove, a shotgun, another girdle. Fire off a shot. Oh, failed. What happened? Uh, Riata, the little girl's shield skill increased. Good for her. And my magic dart increased. Um, let's see. I have... Oh, I'm wearing medium armor. That's not good. I should, I should have sold that cloth armor. I need light armor for a mage. And I gained a level. Um, let's look at my spells. So now my magic dart is level 5. 2. I could do 30 damage. Or 3. If I get really unlucky. So 3 to 30. More likely to do 15. 68%. Oh, that's um, a chance to cast. No, it's not. Excuse me. That one is chance, a chance to cast. 63. 68 is potential. That's not a very good chance to cast. That's why I keep failing. We'll keep skilling up. I think it's because I'm wearing heavy armor. Which I shouldn't be. I need to get cloth armor. Oh, someone dropped some meat. What is that? A uh, corpse of hermit crab. I'll try to cook that if I have a cooking skill. I don't remember. If I started with that. And I'm burdened. It's probably time to head back. And we will. So this is the early game. Trying to do some quests. And collecting items. Identifying all those huge stacks of potions and scrolls and spell books, then there will be there will be forever identified eventually, but not quite yet. Um, what do we have here? Did I identify anything? Actually, I'm gonna read um, these spell books because I want to re-up my magic arrows. Might as well read all of them. Raise my skills up, and while I'm burning off turns here, I'm also getting chances to identify some items I picked up. I have to keep them at one charge and then move on to another, because sometimes they'll come up as a um, 
for quests, someone wants one, and you can give them, you know, a blessed one of six charges or a cursed one of one charge, and they take them as equals. So I'd like to at least keep one. Or, like an emergency, too. Oh, I failed reading it, so... Um, I'm just low level, and so I failed reading it, so I'm gonna surprise teleport. If something's too high of level, bad things can happen. I don't know why I keep failing that one, so let's try Feather. Yeah, that's working. Oh, I'm sleepy now. So we'll talk about sleep here in just a second. Alright, now I have Feather. I don't know what Clear's Hill book is. Magic arrow, minor teleportation, keep that. Spell book, Ice Bolt, yeah. Ice Bolt's good, because, um, well, let's look at it. Oh, I tried to read it and it said it's too difficult. My skill's not high enough, so we're just not gonna do that. So now I'm getting sleepy. So this is an inn. You can see the sign here. Every town has one. You can actually, I think I'm actually carrying a sleeping bag. Uh, I'm gonna push T to use. I don't know why T is used, but it is T. Uh, yeah, I have a sleeping bag. I could use that, but the higher quality of the furniture or bed, then the better sleep you'll get, the fewer negative effects, and better, uh, the more positive buffs and effects. So these beds aren't that good. It's a boring bed, right? The best bed in the game to sleep in is actually the king's bed in Palmia. There's no karma penalty, but we're not close enough to karma. Uh, we might be able to make it, but we're not going to deal with that right now. We're just going to go to sleep. So I'm going to push enter on numpad. It pops up automatically. Pops up use because I'm sitting on a bed. Enter, and um, nothing happened. There's more, so I need to push enter. So some random things happen at night. I took the luck skill because there's lots of randomness that happens. All right, lucky. Oh, my lucky day. Doesn't mean too much right now. Later on, in the mid game, we'll talk about what you can do on your lucky day. But for now, on, for now, we're just gonna ignore it. Uh, region, your entire body flushes. When you wake up, a scar on your arm is gone. Let's see what that did. Oh, my healing skill increased. Good. Any other good things? Oh, that's all. Well, nothing bad. Um, if my pet or any of my party members have the cooking skill, then um, if I go to sleep at night, or oh, go to sleep whenever, and if I wake up in, don't remember the time, but morning, they will automatically cook me a uh, meal and it'll give me tons of buffs, so that's a really good thing to have. Get, uh, whenever I get into gene engineering, I'll make sure that my pets have cookies. I think we're gonna call it a day here. Yeah, let's sell off what we can. Uh, oh, wow, what a great thing to have. Okay, great, I'm gonna put that on. That's pretty good for an early game. Um, let's read about it. Knowledge of alchemy, that's a crafting for um, potions. Uh, that's a later thing, I'm not going to deal with that now, but enhances meditation. I think, oh, I forgot, I think that's a religious thing. Alright, let's sell you some things. Glass breastplate, that's the one that I w was wearing, and yeah, we're definitely selling that. Oh, we have some good... Uh, girdles here. One is silk and cloth, so one of those might be good for me. Uh, light gloves would be good for me as well. Uh, we need to identify these. A cursed cup of coffee. I'm glad I didn't drink it. Sell that. Cup of coffee. Let's go ahead and sell that too. Um, there is actually a thirst factor in this game as well, and you can drink anything. You can drink from a well, or you can, if it's raining, it automatically makes you not, makes you not thirsty, or I guess you drink the water. <clears throat> or if you walk in a fountain, some cities have fountains. Um, what else? You can drink any potion, like a cure potion or a potion of uh, <clears throat> fire, you know, some, any potion you want to drink or cola or coffee. So thirst isn't really a factor. I'm going to keep these, keep all of these, keep all of those. I'll sell that after I uh, identify it. I'm not sure what the towel does. I think I can remove my wet from it, but I don't want to. Um, there's a swimming skill also, and whenever you're wet, you move faster while swim while uh, being wet. So that's another skill that not super important early, early on, but you do want to get it uh, after you get really important ones. 
because like these times like now when it's raining, I'll be able to move way faster if I have a uh, um, wet. I need to drop these off at home. These two and the flag. I'm gonna head home after this. Then we'll call it a day. And I'm gonna keep everything else in my inventory. I'm hungry. Uh, another thing you can do when you're hungry. Yeah, I told you before. Okay, well there was breadsticks. They they will respawn, but they're not back yet. It takes I don't know a month or something, a few days. Uh, there's an innkeeper wearing blue. Oh, he's wearing brown. Okay, and they offer food. Bring me something to eat. Okay, yeah. And they're always good food. Probably up some of my uh, <coughs> potential. I'm gonna head back to the house, drop off some things, mention one thing about my cave. It's actually a cave now, but it is my home. Um, I am going to drop some things. We'll clean this up one day, but not yet. Oh, I forgot to cook the hermit crab, and it rotted. I can cook the rotted one. I will. I'll do it in a second. I'm gonna drop a sleeping bag. There's something called etherwind or etherwind. Um, when that happens, you need to go inside. So it looks just like rain, but it comes up from the bottom. Like these little bubbles, these little orbs will come up like this. Just like when the rain comes down, the, the bubbles will come up. You'll know. It looks like you're underwater with these bubbles coming up. When that happens, it happens on every third month between the first and fifteenth day. So next month, probably next video, we'll, we'll might get an ether wind, and you want to be inside as fast as possible because it will make you mutate, and it's often bad mutations and it's hard to get rid of ether disease. It gets worse and worse and worse. And there's a potion of cure corruption that is the most expensive potion in the game and very rare. So um, on your lucky day, you can go gamble to try to get them. We'll do that later on, not quite yet, but you always want to be close to a town on the first 15 days of the third month. So uh, three, six, nine, 12, those months, you want to be close to home. So you have to actually be inside, not just in a town, inside. So let's drop those items. So drop the flag. Oh, actually the flag has a use. I was thinking that's furniture, it's not. Um, what was the other one? I had one more furniture. Oh no, not furniture. So the way I usually do this, before I open, because if you open a museum with not enough figurines and cards, you lose money. Because you have to pay tax, and you, the t your income will be less than your tax. So um, what I usually do is just drop these. So I make a stack of figurines and a stack of cards. And just keep one of everything. Don't take two, just ditch your other ones. Then when I have like 30 of them or something, when I have like, a, like 20 here and 20 here, maybe then I'll open up a museum, but not not yet. Um, when you get taxes, okay, we're gonna end the video. I'm starting to ramble. Okay, so thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll talk more probably about taxes. In fact, I'll stand on this so I remember. Thank you for watching.